here 1272 good luck that's a bit of a rating gap isn't it i shouldn't really play somebody with that much of a rating gap Six thousand games very good okay just play a normal carol oh c4 not really a standard move um, let's just take here just develop all i want to try and do is get castled Oh, this is certainly not standard. Um, I think I just develop here, guard the pawn. If he takes, I take the queen and then take back. But now I think I can take, 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 queen takes. Yeah, I must be right to take now. I don't think I'm blundering a tactic because I think I can block the check multiple ways. Now I'll just trade the queen. Um, just develop the knight. I'm still just trying to get castle. It's just a case of how do we achieve it. Just block that potential. Just maybe even pawn up or pawn up bishop out somewhere or other. Let's go here and potentially pin the knight. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll develop. We're just preparing castling. He's playing this far too quickly. Um... Now I can come back, allow this and drop back. Takes, takes. Hmm. I think I just prefer the idea of just taking and casting, I think. <coughs> okay, castled. So now we just need to watch our bishop. Right now it is guarded. We just need to pay attention. Pawn up is sensible. So knight up is a candidate move. Yeah, he's trying to move almost instantly. Um... Let's play a knight across, attack the bishop, whilst my own is guarded. Okay, knight down. I'm just looking at takes and check. It'll just keep it really simple. I've also got knight across, but the bishop could go back. But we're up material, so it makes good sense, common sense to simplify. We've got lots of moves. We can throw a check in to stop the casting. We can play this knight across. I think I should do that. Just throw a check in so you can't cast. Then maybe knight across or rook across or something. Um, I think knight over first. It prepares a concept of f5. It does maybe allow f3. But I can just drop the knight back, I guess. Or I can counter by attacking the knight. So he's come forward. So I can go here. I think I should kick this knight first. Actually, where does that knight go? It's almost trapped. So here, down here are oh, you going to attack this pawn um yeah, obviously i can come in with a check with either knight hit this pawn again does it matter which one here forward here forward I like the idea of just playing rook across. Keep it simple. Cover this move, threatening a move like pawn up to try and trap the knight or potentially. As long as my own knights can retreat somewhere or other. I damn what material I can afford to lose a pawn. Yeah, he's just playing this that's that little tad bit too quick. So I think we're good to go now and challenge the knight. Okay, so he's countered by attacking our knight, so we can throw a check in. We're then threatening to take and take here. Um, gain a knight. Lose a knight doesn't gain me much, so that's the obvious check. So that's what I'm going to play. Again, this knight is temporarily covered. Even if we end up losing the pawn, we can still drop back. I think it makes sense just to take the knight now. So take. If you take here... I can just take back. Yeah, just take the knight. I mean, I could even potentially push up. We can potentially just take. There's all sorts of threats. We've got a check threat. He does grab the pawn. So we've got this move to hit the bishop. We can throw in a check. He's not quite mated as he can, he can go back. But I think take here to guard the knight. Hold on, check here check and he can't guard his bishop but then my knight would fall let's just take 
Good to play simple chess if you can do a takes. I'll just shift somewhere. Well, I don't want to blunder the back rank, of course. That would be very, very bad. Yeah, I'm going to push a pawn just so I don't accidentally blunder the back rank. Oh, I maybe got even knight check there. I might have had knight check now even. So my idea here originally was I can just grab a pawn or I can come back. This knight's now guarded. I can come here, hit the rook and the bishop. There is check and we discover and attack the rook, but we might lose this one as well. Although it's, no, it's fine, isn't it? If you take, I take here. And if you go with the bishop, take, then you take here. It doesn't quite work now. Check. You've only got one move, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to complicate things. I just want to play simple, straightforward chess. If there's a tactic, brilliant. If there isn't, if there isn't just... If you don't see it, you don't see it. You just play what you do see. But we're threatening a check as well as the rook. We're hitting the bishop. But relatively low-risk chess. Okay, so he sacks. Um, I think I'll just take back here. And we're still threatening a knight. Sorry, the knight's still threatening the rook. We're still threatening to push on. Um, so I guess we just take now. We've still got a check threat. We can push up. Hold on, check. Hmm. No, I'm just going to keep it really simple. Just get rid of his pieces, take all the risk out of it. Now just start, gradually march forward. No need to complicate things. Okay, let's just push on. He's still playing this far too quickly though. Should be slowing down, trying to use his time. Even in a losing position, you never know. I could blunder, of course. Um... I'm going to play rook back and hit these pawns. Still guard this one. I'm very happy if he takes. But yeah, he's playing it like a bullet game almost. Just going far too quickly. So we'll just take and take. Now I just push the pawn up the board and then get a simple ladder mate. Obviously there is a massive rating gap. I'm aware of that. But he's just played the game just that little bit too quick. I just play the nice simple ladder mate and we get the win so I will pause and put that through the analyzer we've probably still made some mistakes along the way that how many moves we've done 47 moves so it's a lot of moves obviously you can take your time and turn the engine on and play all the way through these games and try and learn from mistakes that you do make because there will be some here Well, see, I shouldn't really be paired up with somebody when there's like a thousand point rating gap like that. That's a little bit much. It's definitely not going to stay on 100% accuracy. There's no way I'm going to play that over 40 something moves, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, 199. It's not going to stay on that. I can't see it staying on that. 100, 100, it definitely won't stay on that. Well, it's finished on 98% versus 91% accuracy. No bad blunders from either player, but it's highlighting some there. So some it's slightly glitched, isn't it? It's highlighting some blunders in red, but they're not showing up in this. So I'll refresh the screen. So them initial blunders it was highlighting are not actually there. So yeah, it's in. It's only we've actually played, what, 98% versus 91% accuracy. So my point, really, it's just come down to just playing too quickly, hasn't it? You can see from the graph, we've built an early advantage. And we've just maintained it. We've played well, but according to that, my opponent's produced 91%. Send upon lost 34, minus 13. That's the lower it is, the better. I think, I think if it's zero, it's perfect computer moves. So the lower that you get, the better, but... We've gained an early advantage, but a pawn has been finding some decent moves in what was effectively a losing position. But my games are often like that. I try to play good principled chess. I don't go in for crazy tactics, so it's quite common in my games to see both players getting decent accuracies.
But yeah, we get the win. Very good. 